Hello and welcome to Livewise Buy, Hold, Sell. I'm Grady Wolf and today we're going to be looking at some of the unsung heroes of the healthcare sector. Now, they may not be as big as CSL, Cochlear or ResMed, but they sure are mighty. And to do that, I'm joined by Tim Johnston from Tyndall Asset Management and Tobias Yao from Wilson Asset Management. Now, let's dive straight into it. The first stock today is Regis Healthcare. Now, Regis is one of Australia's largest residential aged care providers. Tobias, starting with you, buy, hold or sell? Uh, it's a buy. The big news in the sector is that SDA got acquired by Bain. You know, aged care as a space has had a very tough period over the last few years, firstly with the Royal Commission into aged care and then COVID. So we think a lot of that headwind's washing through. And so it's going to be a very supportive macro backdrop. Uh, we really like Regis because the management team is growth minded and we believe there are a lot of uh, attractive acquisition opportunities in the space. Tim, its share price is up 20% year to date. Buy, hold or sell on Regis? It's a buy. Despite the outperformance to date, it's still a buy. The backdrop for the whole sector is improving. Certainly the earnings have troughed with the COVID disruption that it had, but we've had funding improvements coming through from the government or at least coming next year. But even in the longer term, the reality is this is a sector that's not funded well enough to bring on the additional capacity that's going to be needed as the over 85 cohort ages or expands quite rapidly at the back end of this decade. So we think there's further upside to funding from here Absolutely. and therefore it's a buy. So Nanosonics is the next stock. It's uh, disinfectant technology is used in 30 countries around the world. Now buy, hold or sell. Nanosonics is a hold for us. We really like the management team and what they've done with the product to date. They've penetrated the US market very, very well in that, with that first product. For us at this point in time though, we need to see a couple of things before we get more constructive on the name. Firstly, we'd like to see an acceleration of the penetration outside the US market. Or alternatively, we need to get greater insight into their second product, which is imminent, we're told. Uh, but we need to get greater clarity on the competitive positioning of that product to form a view on how quickly that uptake might be. It is important to see where the Chorus device is going Indeed. in the uh, regulatory process. Now, Tobias, the share price is up 9% year to date. What are your thoughts on Nanosonics? Buy, hold or sell? Uh, Nanosonics is a hold for us as well. You know, we do like the business, as Tim has touched on, and that the quality of the product, it's very defensive. Uh, Valuation is still a little bit elevated currently um, and we wanted to wait on the sidelines to see how um, what management provides from a cost outlook perspective at the result, uh, particularly with the change in the chief financial officer. So it's a hold for us. Now, Telix Pharmaceuticals, it is the name of the year, really. It's a company focused on uh, using targeted radiation to kill cancer and treat other diseases while sparing the patient's healthy cells. Tobias, staying with you, buy, hold or sell. Uh, Telix is a hold for us, uh, even though we are shareholders. And this is mainly just because it's in the short term, the share price has done really well. You know, we believe the easy market share gains is coming to an end. There's a few new competitors that's coming to the market. However, longer term, you know, the total addressable market should be larger than what the market is expecting. And we are positive the kidney therapeutics product that's getting launched in 2024. However, in the short term, it's a hold for us just because of the share price movement. They are onto some very big things over at Telix. Tim, the share price is up 51%. It's been on a big run. It has buy, had a big run. Sell. It's a buy for us. Uh, agree with everything Tobias said in regards to its existing product, but this renal diagnostic that's coming to market probably in the middle of next year yeah. is going to be as big, if not bigger, than the first product. The key opinion leaders, you know, absolutely falling over themselves to get hold of this product. They think it'll change clinical practice because it's su such an improvement on the products that are available to them at the moment and it'll dramatically improve patient outcomes. So we do think that it'll, there'll be a rapid uptake and that added to that is the fact that uh, Telix will be selling this drug or this product through its existing sales force to its existing customer base. So the education process will be far more rapid than you might normally expect with a new product to market. Okay, we asked our guests to bring their top pick in the healthcare sector today. Tim, what have you brought for us? Well, I think investors should have a look at Impedimed. Now, it's a name that's been around for a long time and you might be surprised for a stock that's tripled in the last four months that I would be positive on it. <laughs> but the reality is, if you go back to March of this year, Impedimed had a inf massive inflection point when the, the body in the US that basically sets guidelines for cancer treatment, included in its guidelines for breast cancer therapy, uh, impediments product. So it's now being not necessarily mandated but advised to be used and what we've seen since that time is that the insurers, one after the next, have changed their medical policies and incorporated impediments device into their reimbursement and importantly they've created a financial incentive for the cancer networks or the cancer centres and the hospital networks to use this product and if we know anything about the US healthcare market you follow the money <laughs> and with a financial incentive in place we think that the adoption of this technology will be very, very rapid. 
You heard it from Tim, follow the money in the US. Tobias, which stock is emerging in the healthcare sector for you? Yeah, so buy for us is Capital Health. It's a radiology business and it's had some operation issues as a result of COVID. However, we believe that that is turning. Um, recent Medicare data is showing the industry is rebounding and indexation came in better than expected uh, over the last few months. One of the issues with the recent earnings update is there was a bit of extra cost. Our view is that that, that extra cost is to set up the business for growth in FY24 and 25. So we, we believe operating leverage should come through over the next two years and that's why it's a buy for us. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Livewise Buy, Hold, Sell. If you did, why not give it a like? Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're adding so much great content every single week.